Hello and welcome to Stop Frost Maths key skill video on enlarging a shape by a fractional scale factor. So we've got the shape here, A, and we want to enlarge this shape by a scale factor of half with centre of enlargement 0, 1. And we want to label this new shape as B. So I always start with plotting the centre of enlargement, so it's 0, 1, so 0 along the x-axis, which is here, and 1 up the y-axis here. So this is our centre of enlargement. And then do you remember the strategy from the previous videos on this is to count the number of squares we have to move from the centre of enlargement to each of the points on the shape. So if we start with this point here, can you see starting from the centre of enlargement always, we count one, two, three, four right to get to that point on the shape. And do you remember we multiply each of those counts by this scale factor here, so by half. Now what is four multiplied by half? Well, four times half is the same as saying what is half of four, which is two. So the four right becomes two right, and that will be our new point. Let's do the same for this point here. Starting from the centre of enlargement, always, it's one, two, three, four, five, six right. If you multiply that by the scale factor of half, six times half, half of six is three. So it's three right, again, starting from here, one, two, three. So our new point is here. And finally, this point at the top, starting from here, one, two, three, four right, and one, two, three, four up. So the four right becomes two right, because we're halving it, and the four up becomes two up, so we end up here. And then if we join those together, we get our new shape, like this. And I'm going to label it as B, as per the instructions. So we can see that the shape has become half as big, because that scale factor says how many times bigger, in terms of width and height, your shape is going to become. So it's half as big. So it's actually getting smaller. What about this second one? Enlarge the shape A by scale factor of negative half, centre, zero, three. So now we're going to have a new centre of enlargement, zero, three, which is here. And by the way, if you haven't done negative scale factors yet, I do have a separate video on it, but I do sort of cover it here anyway. So, we're going to do the same as we did before. We're going to count from our centre of enlargement to each point on this shape. So let's start with this bottom left point. From the centre of enlargement, one, two, three, four right, and two down. So let's just write that down, four right, and two down. And we're going to multiply each of those counts by negative a half. So if we multiply 4 by negative a half, well positive times negative is negative, so it's going to be a negative value. And what's 4 times half? Well half of 4 is 2, so it's minus 2 right. And what's 2 times minus half? It's minus 1, so it's minus 1 down. Now, this is a bit confusing. Minus 2 right, what does that mean? Well basically if you go minus 2 right, that's going in the opposite direction of its negative. So it's going to be two left in the opposite direction. So starting from the centre of enlargement, we go two left, and then if it's minus one down, we actually go one up in the opposite direction, and we end up here. Let's do that for another point, this one here. Starting from the centre of enlargement, we got one, two, three, four, five, six right, and one, two down. Now the 6 right, if we times it by negative half, becomes 3 left, so 1, 2, 3 left, and the 2 down becomes half of that, but in the opposite direction, so 1 up, so we end up here. And then let's finally do this top point here. Starting from the centre of enlargement, you can see it's 1, 2, 3, 4 right, and 2 up. Now the 4 right, if we half it and negate it so it's in the opposite direction, the 4 right becomes 2 left, and the 2 up becomes 1 down, because half of 2 is 1. And it's in the opposite direction. So we end up with that. And if we join that up, we get this here. So I'm going to label it C to complete the question.